Hello, my loves. Um, so this is going to be your weekly reading. Um, this is going to be for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I feel like the person on your mind right now is very much in their feelings because you have gotten to the point where you just don't want to hear anything that this person has to say. I do feel that um, they are coming towards you with an apology. Okay. Now keep in mind, guys, this could be friend, family member, it could be love interest, but there is someone here that is nothing but drama. Okay. They are nothing but drama. And I feel that collective, you are over it. Uh, you just don't care what this person has to say anymore. I feel that collective, you guys are coming into an energy where if it doesn't make you happy, if it doesn't make you feel good, if it doesn't bring you money or orgasms, you don't want to deal with it. Okay. It, it's just, you're clearing your energy of this person. They make your, their energy is very chaotic and messy. And they make your energy and your life chaotic and messy. I feel like this person is about to have an entire tantrum because they don't want to let you go. Collective, you may uh, just randomly in the middle of the day start getting a little flushed. You may end up uh, starting like you out of nowhere, you envision having sex with this person that is because they are astral projecting themselves onto you sexually. If you have children with this person, they're using the children as a means to try to bring this back together. This is someone that's also claiming that they are willing to clear their energy of people, places, and things that cause them to be chaotic in this way. For instance, if their family uh, enables them to act, you know, abusive or whatever, they're going to remove that. If they've got a toxic friend group, they're going to remove that. If they've got drug addictions, drinking addictions, certain addictions, they're coming towards you telling you that they are willing to um, go to rehab or go to therapy or heal themselves in some way. I feel that collective, you really are just tired of forgiving this person and believing in this person, believing that this time is going to be better. I feel like this person has really put you through the ringer and it's, it's just gotten to the point where you don't believe anything that this person has to say anymore. Um, I feel like... <sighs> There's an energy of you starting to resent this person or hate this person because they trigger every insecurity inside of you. This person, you, you may start to feel like this person has a mental illness, that they're either bipolar, narcissistic, or a sociopath. And guys, you know, we throw the word narcissistic around as an insult, but it's not. Narcissism, being a socio sociopath, those are a, that is a med mental illness. That is something that has happened to this person early on in their life, and they allowed their ego to take over to not experience pain again in their life. So, you know, you just feel that this person is... Is chaotic that they're messy and you're starting to kind of um I you know hate is a very strong word but I have to say that many of you are just starting to like whenever you see this person's name on your phone you get that ick you know you're starting to get the ick because collective I feel like you're wanting stability here okay you're wanting commitment you're wanting stability you're wanting a teammate you're wanting someone to work with you um, to achieve goals. And instead, what this looks like is you putting in the work to achieve goals, to, to do things. And this person, it's like you're swimming and this person is holding onto your foot so that it's harder for you to get anywhere. You're swimming in place. Like this person makes life harder for you. Okay. They make life harder for you collective. And I feel that you just want to be done with it. You just, you want to like shake this person off of you. Okay. I feel that this person is realizing that um, the way this person feels is that they destroyed something amazing. They, they're really realizing that they have fucked up for the last time, guys. This person knows that they have broken you over and over and over again. You know, there are things that you can break. 
and put back together but i feel like you have reached a point collective where whatever they did this last time you want to picture like a very delicate vase okay that dropped and it's in shattered into a million little pieces it would take forever for this person to fix this some things just aren't repairable and they're realizing that whatever they did this last time around it's just not repairable like to you it's like you're just getting the ick when it comes down to this person this person is doing a lot of brainstorming they're trying to figure out what they need to say or what they need to do to get you on board you know because the same old song and dance is not working this time around with this person okay um they they don't know what to say or what to do to get you back to get back into your good graces okay I feel that collective, this is someone that has run out of promises. They're, they've run out of ways to get you to trust them. They've run out of ways to, um, to get back into your good graces. I feel like all of a sudden, collective, you're going to be very busy. Uh, you know, it, it's like anytime this person wants to talk, I'm busy. Uh, all of a sudden, you're going to find that you don't want to pick up the phone for this person or you don't want to run after this person or whatever. The, you know, in the past, your heart may have been on fire for this person and very quick to run for them to help them uh to help them you know clean up their lives or fix them in some way you're getting the ick here you just you're too busy to deal with this person and their chaos you have stuff to do and this person does see that they do see that this person is realizing collective that the choices that they've made have led them here that they have taken a person that would have you love this person more than you loved yourself you would have gone above and beyond for this individual and you have changed dramatically you know, instead of you changing this person and putting in all that work and, you know, seeing the best version of who this person was, you know, trying to get uh, them to operate from their highest self, what this person has done is cause you to become numb because all of a sudden you're too busy. I can't do it right now. I can't talk to you right now. I can't pick up the phone right now. And it's affecting them collective because, you know, now this is no longer you're all bark and no bite. Now you're not barking anymore and the shit that you're doing stings okay because it's like you're no longer threatening this person with listen i'm done i'm fed up i'm not going to do this again now with your actions you know how they say actions speak louder than words with your actions you are showing this person how fed up you are okay we've got bugaboo here we have set the record straight and family time so collective this is somebody that wants you to know that you're their baby, that you're their boo thing. They want to set the record straight that you and your family, especially if you have children with this person, mean everything to them. Um, they, they want to try to come forward and let you <coughs> let you know that they either want to have a family with you, they want to have children with you, or that if you already have children with this person, that they want to be a good parent, a good husband, a good wife, a good partner. And I feel that um, collective, you just don't want to deal with this anymore. With depression here and police collective, for some of you, this is someone that just will not get away from doing illegal things that may not resonate with everybody, that may only be for a few of you. I feel like this is somebody that gets bored very easily this could be someone that does drugs or they are in a bad friend group this is someone that may have a criminal history maybe this person is involved in gangs or illegal activity like this is somebody that is always getting caught up they're always getting caught up and i feel that collective um you know, you're dealing with someone here that constantly puts you in depression and oppression because you can't seem to get anywhere with this person, especially if you're dealing with someone who is in prison or someone that doesn't want to get away from a certain lifestyle, okay? This person just, they're, they're into games, okay? This is someone that's just into playing games. You feel like this person toys with your emotions. They, they think your life is, I mean, they don't have anything valuable going on in their life and you're trying to achieve a lot in your own life and they think that it's just a game they think that you know you hold on to the promises that they give to you, okay? You hold on to that very strongly because you've invested a lot in this person. You've invested a lot in this connection. So when they make promises to you, you hold on to that very strongly. And when they fail you, when they disappoint you, it's like, 
you have to deal with that heartbreak, you have to deal with that pain while handling very serious responsibilities. Some of you could be single parents, some of you can have uh, very demanding jobs, or you might be a business owner. You don't have the time to stop your life, crawl into bed, and grieve the fact that this person has fucked up again. You don't have that time. And it's becoming to the point where like, all these responsibilities that you have are becoming so much heavier because this person and puts you in, in a horrible depressive energy, okay? This person puts you in a place where with envy and promiscuous here that, you know, you're always feeling insecure. You're always feeling like this person is cheating. You're always feeling that this person belongs to the streets. You're always feeling that this person will, you know, sleep with just about anybody. This could be somebody that does drugs and they become promiscuous, or this could be someone that just, you know, there's no honor amongst thieves, right? If this is somebody that like has a criminal past or is always out in the streets, they, they don't maintain, they, they don't respect or honor you or the connection. This could be someone that flirts with your friends, or this is someone that, you know, wants to have a friend group of where everyone is of the opposite sex. And I feel like collective, you're coming into an energy where you just want to protect yourself and protect your energy because you just have too much going on on a day-to-day -day basis. And this person is just making your life more difficult. I feel like you're making the decision to reject this individual because you are seeking stability. And now this person is regretting the fact that they did not listen to your warnings. You have warned this person. You have threatened this person so many times that this was going to happen and they took it for granted. They felt that you were all bark and no bite. And now, now it's hurting. Now it's hurting because they cannot get back into your good graces collective. They just cannot seem to find the perfect thing to say to get you to believe them again. Um, you just don't want to deal with it. You, you want someone in your life that makes everyone jealous of you, not the other way around where you have to be jealous of everybody. You want someone in your life that is focused and with you and, and looking towards the future. Someone that's worried about your children and their future. If you have children with this person, this is someone that maybe gets arrested a lot. They're always in drama. They always have something going on. Um, it, it's like this person is just messy. You know, they're just messy. I feel that collective, you're realizing here that you're better off without this person. You're starting to feel that when this person is not in your energy, you're in a more clear headspace that you're happier. And you know, what's horrible here is that this person knows it. They see it where once it would make your heart so happy to chase after this person, run after them, be there for everything that they needed. Now it's like anytime you do anything for this person, you're, you're wearing a mask. It's not from the heart. Like if you have to do anything from this person, you're forcing yourself to do it. It's not coming like when they need something from you, it's not coming as easily as it did before because you feel like you're forcing yourself. You feel like you're forcing yourself. Hang on one second, guys. So yeah, the card that popped out on the floor was healing. I, I feel like while you were with this person collective, you mourned this connection while you were with them is what I'm feeling. And now it's like you've been really focused on cleansing your energy of this person. Some of you could have done a cord cutting to release this person's energy. I feel like you're tired of the mixed signals. I feel like you're tired of this person um, being hot and cold. One moment they're focused on you and the connection. Next moment they're gone and, and they mess up. You know, every single time they disappoint you and you feel like you have no choice but to numb your heart against this person. This is someone that likes to chase thrills. They like to chase a good time. This is someone that likes the excitement. They like drama. They like, you know, very strong Aries energy here. You know, Aries is the god of war. So this is someone that may get into fights a lot. They may, it's like they're always some type of drama revolved around this person. This person is about the fast lifestyle, seeking the good time, and you're over over here sitting more in a deeper energy. You don't care about the shallow things. You focus, you want to focus your time on and energy on things that are valuable and important, like focusing on your retirement, focusing on saving money for your children to go to college, focusing on providing a stable environment for yourself and the people that you love, focusing on, you know, the goals that you want to reach in life. And the, it's like too 
you and this person are not on the same page at all. And I feel like collective, you've given this person a lot of time. You have waited a long time for this person to realize that, you know, you guys are, have a strong soul tie and that, you know, it's worth it to just commit and settle down. You've been waiting for them to see the value in having a partner, a teammate, but they're, they just don't see it. You know, they just don't see it. And I feel like you feel like they're never going to get there. This person puts more emphasis on, you know, keeping their options open, doing drugs, having drama. If they're in some type of like biker gang or some type of group that is always getting in trouble with the police or something like that. Um, this is somebody that always has to be caught up in drama. Okay. And I feel like you have just gotten to the point where you're hopeless. This person is never going to be stable. They're never going to be a parent if you have children with this person or even if they are a parent that it's not going to be a parent that provides stability or puts their child first you know they're just not they're just not in that energy okay collective you're wanting someone that you know thinks of you craves you desires you wants you and only you when they go out into the street they have integrity like no i don't want to do this because if i make this decision and something goes wrong i can lose you know uh, my person i could lose my family you want someone that you know when they're out and about the only thing on their mind is you their family and building a life with you and i feel that you know this person wants to come in they want to apologize for these third-party influences whether these influences are family friends third-party energies but honestly i feel like collective you you're just you're you're starting to hate this person you're you're starting to get anytime they make a promise to you you're getting angry because you feel like this person just thinks that you're stupid it's almost like they're insulting your intelligence by thinking that you're going to continue to believe them over and over again <coughs> you know that this new beginning that they want from you it's nothing but it's nothing but lies it's nothing but lies it's always the same old dong, song and dance and collective you have come to realize that you are never going to live in a peaceful place if you keep on choosing to dance with the devil you know i feel like you're very stubborn here collective this person has never seen this side of you before even if there's a part of you that still loves this person you're resisting it you're suppressing those feelings and releasing it because you're starting to feel that you are trapped or tied to this person that is just too different from you. You guys don't see eye to eye. The only time you see eye to eye with this person is when they want you back or they want to get into your good graces. And then as soon as everything settles down and you start to trust that this person has actually changed, boom, they switch on you again, turn into a completely different person. And you're trying to run from this. You don't wanna deal with this anymore. You're blocking this person, avoiding this person, pushing this person away um you want someone that finds you uh attractive someone that appreciates and values and respects your kind heart sees you as graceful and charming and someone that's willing to be loyal to you you want someone reliable someone that you can trust someone that you can believe in it's reached a point where this person is just you see them as a pathological liar you see them as someone that you cannot trust you see them as someone that just keeps you know toying with your mind your heart and your life okay and your life especially if you're a single parent, okay, and you want to be a good parent, and this person, you know, does things to you that puts you in an energy where you don't have the patience for your children, you're not operating and being the best parent that you can be, the best employee that you can be, the best boss that you can be, the best family member or friend that you can be, you're not operating at your higher self because this person keeps putting you in this depressed and oppressive energy because it's one disappointment after the next with this individual okay yeah i feel that collective this person is trying they're grasping at straws they're gonna come towards you uh crying vulnerable they're gonna say and do anything they can to get you back but it's not working it's like no matter what this person does if they take the pushy approach if they take the vulnerable approach if, no matter what approach they take they can't seem to knock your walls down here this person really wants this back 
they want this back. They're, they're reminiscing about the days that you love them, that you cared about them. Um, you look at this person differently. Now, when you look at this person, there is a hard and cold look in your eyes and they miss the days when like they would walk through the door and you would look at them with love. You know, they miss those days. But the problem is, is that they chose adventure and taking risks and, you know, just uh, acting like a fool, going out in the streets, pretending like they belong to nobody, pretending like their actions, um, you know, whatever consequence they have to pay, they don't realize that you have to pay them too, you know, and, and they, they chose that over keeping you, keeping you, keeping your boundary, you know, keeping you and keeping your family. I feel that your boundaries are up here. Your boundaries are up here. You feel like this person is shallow. Everything they say is shallow. They get bored easily. Um, they they chase and pursue things that hold no value. They chase and pursue, um, you know, maybe a fast lifestyle, a gang lifestyle, or a lifestyle where it, it just, whatever they're investing their time and energy into, it leads to nothing. They're not investing their time and energy into anything. Like, this person may have a lot of potential, and you stayed in this for as long as you did because you saw the best version of this person you saw you know who this person could be but you know at the end of the day collective we all have free will and they're not going to be the best version of themselves because they choose to be the lowest version of themselves and you can't force someone like you may look at this person and know that they could be so great they have the ability to be a great parent they have the ability to be a great partner they have the ability to be a great boss maybe this person has certain talents like you know uh they do hair or they fix houses maybe this person is very intelligent and talented but still it's a waste they just waste whatever their abilities are you know they could be the sweetest person in the world an amazing part they waste it they choose not to be that person and you're coming into that understanding of yes this person does have the ability to be amazing but they don't want to be amazing and you know you cannot keep wasting your time on who this person has the potential to be and i feel like with silence here and finality collective you know i don't see you taking this person back you don't even want to talk to them because you're starting to feel like there's no point in communicating with this person they don't do anything that they say they're going to do they disappoint you over and over again and collective your person sees it they see the change in you they're missing the days that you love them they're missing the days that you believed in them and i don't i don't see <coughs> i don't see that this person is going to succeed in getting you back um, but are they going to stop trying anytime soon? No, this person is going to be consistently in your energy doing everything they can to try to get you back. This person is going to become obsessed with you, infatuated with you, addicted to you. Um, but the bottom line here is, is that they, they don't make good decisions. They don't make good decisions. But this person is convinced that one day, somewhere, somehow they will get you back. Okay, they will get you back. So I don't feel like you're going to break for this person anytime soon, collective. But the more you say no, the more you push them away, the more they become obsessed. Because to be honest with you, collective, I feel like nobody believed in them the way you did. No one has ever loved this person the way you did. Nobody ever looked at this person and saw what their potential was the way you did. And now you're sitting on the side with everyone else that sees this person as a waste of time everyone in this person's family or everyone this person knows may put them down or may tell them that they're not shit that they're a waste of time that like this person's family may not help them you know and now you are on their side you know whereas there may have been a time where you defended this person you you know your heart hurt that this person had nobody or that no one trusted this person or believed in this person um and you were there for them in a way that nobody else was and now you understand why all these people view your person in that way. So I don't see you guys breaking anytime soon and letting this person in, but they are becoming more and more obsessed with getting you back because they have lost um, 
someone that saw them at their highest self and they've managed to destroy that too and i feel like they just can't believe it they can't believe that they managed to break you into seeing them as a complete waste of time you know all right guys well that's what i got for you i hope you enjoyed i love you and i'll see you soon take care soon take care